Good day, everyone. Welcome to the next minute challenge. As you can see, Office Administration C6 2022 preparation. Guys, when I say put 2022, do not say that it's 2022 paper. A lot of persons been texting me and say, Sir, is the paper we're doing in exam? No, it's not the paper. For me to get the paper. That's a madness. All right. Yeah, so I'm saying, pick up everybody from the Caribbean. Welcome, welcome. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to try to go through it as quick as possible. Um, I should be doing some more after this. I don't know all the time it's going to go here. So let's get right into it. All right, let's begin. So I said, which of the following services is a function performed by the general office? A, delivering goods. B, manufacturing goods. C, producing information. Yeah, we got the general office there. Information Center. Employees in a large organization are most likely to have very close supervision, limited career prospect, a high degree of specialization, and that is exactly it. Guys, as I read your answer, I'm trying to just you know, skip it over. All right, what's the answer for three? An application for the position of dispatch clerk was addressed to a company to whom should this make clerk forward this application? Is it the shipping supervisor, the marketing manager, the administrative? Officer or the human resource manager. Pick up yourself, human resource manager. So you probably don't turn down All right, number four. In which of the following situations would the relationship between employees be described as vertical? A, one is a senior to the other. And that is exactly what it is. So let's move on to number five. Oh, guys, um, hit the right button. I'll put it there. Put the right button. I'm not doing it. Nobody like the video, man. Nobody like the video. No, I learned. All right, let's move on to number five. The term span of control refers to is it A, manager's influence, right, or power to perform particular tasks? B, system of grading, management, and subordinates in different levels? C, lines of communication between the manager and his or her subordinates? Or is it E, maximum number of subordinates the manager can supervise efficiently? And that is. All right, let's move on to number six. You are a clerk in a small organization and you are accountable to your supervisor who is the secretary. I don't know what they say. You're a clerk in a small organization and you're accountable to your supervisor who is the secretary. Okay, so supervisor is secretary. You feel that some improvement can be made in the filing system. Which of the following would be the most appropriate step for you to take? A, discuss your ideas with a colleague. Not now, I'm going away. Colleagues, no business. I just want to get them here and go. Away. B, discuss your ideas with the secretary. That is what I would have done. Let me see if there's a better option. Make the changes you feel are necessary. Yeah, man. Yeah, make changes in the company. Yeah, man. Continue with the old system until you ask for your opinion. No, you can't wait for your opinion. They will never answer that. But first of all, they think you're an idiot, so they will not answer your question at all. So that to be B, we discuss the idea with the secretary. Maybe I should take it on. All right, the major difference between an operator assisted call and a direct call is A, the timing of the call, the additional fee charge, having to pay immediately. You know, so that thing is B, monitoring, monitoring by the operator. Yes, yeah, so the operator assists you. So the operator monitor you. A caller to a business have to speak to a manager only. What type of call should the operator make? Post? Is it P personal? C conference or is it P person to person? Conference or trouble. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number nine. A small package containing important documents is to be made to Canada from the Caribbean island. We got everybody in Canada. We have the following. Postal services would be the most suitable. Is it a parcel of post, a recorded mail, a registered mail, or a first class mail? Definitely C, registered mail. All right, let's move on to 10. Hit the like button, peeps, man. I'm going to deal with man. Everybody good. All the best in an exam. In an office where large quantities of printed materials have to be cut to size, it would be most suitable to have access to guillotine, letter opener, sharp edge knife, large pair of scissors. Large pair 
सक्सेस ये तो तीन देखते हैं यार अगवान रहता है स्कूल ये तो सबसे मेन स्कूली फॉर मी आई नंबर नंबर एलेवन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन एग्जांपल ऑफ फ्री बेनिफिट ट्रेनिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी हॉलिडे अरेंजमेंट सी यूज ऑफ कंपनी पीपल और डी प्रमोशनल अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड दैट वुड बी डी प्रमोशनल अपॉर्चुनिटी नंबर 12 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्विस इज इट नाइट कैन कैंसिल ऑप्शन Yeah, you guys type it, you know? Like if I say 12, I think A of the 12 is. I just put A, guys. That is the matters. See you guys later. Which of the following services would usually be offered to customers who have fixed accounts at a commercial bank? Which of the following services would be usually offered to customers who have fixed deposit account? One, permission to write checks on their account. Two, charge on demand with interest earned. Higher interest rates than that. Savings account. The fixed deposit you can just draw the money so much. You know, so there's actually three only. You can't draw the money on fixed deposit savings. Not the locks. All right, so number 12 would be D. The bank will be a penny on them, will be a money sale, a penny on them. All right, let's move on to 13. So it says item 13 refer to the following diagram. It's a telephone message. Two. R. Smith from JB Organization, Ben and Sons Limited. Get them phone number. The message say, New shipment of office of the arrival on Friday, 11 30 a.m. Call M. Son just for further information. All right. So, my comment is no. The person who received the phone call and recorded messages. So, I'll go on a person. We received it. R. Smith. All right, so that would be T. Let's move on to 14. Which of the following guidelines should be followed by the interview when the job interview? One, be pleasant and alert, be confident when answering questions, maintain minimal eye contact, minimal Once you are interviewing, I look at them and I think that. <laughs> so it's B, one and two only. I will keep eye contact with them. And in the case when I don't say, your job will come for you. Yeah, All right, 15. Which of the following is not always a requirement of a letter of application? It should be type. Uh, and after always type, you can write that. Number 16. It is now three months since a graduate applied for a job at a large firm. The graduate received only a letter of acknowledgement. Oh, so the company acknowledges that you get it. What action should be the graduate take to indicate that he or she is still interested in the job? I would say put on your clothes and just go there and say, I'm ready for work, guys. Monday morning, bright and early. A joke. A, write a letter of application. B, write a letter to follow up on the application. I would have done that. I'm just saying there's a better option. Telephone a friend who works with the firm, who wishes to visit the company and have to see the human resource from there. They are turn up for the people. Don't me, I make the phone security and take you away. <laughs> All right, so 16 would be number 17. Which of the following employees is responsible for receiving and relaying message and making appointments? And that would be the receptions. You see here, here, who is this? All right, number 9, 18. Which of the following would be the most suitable storing inactive soft copies of files? So it's inactive, right? Soft copies. Notice to say in soft copies. So storage box, no accommodation, accordion, near folder, suspension. That could be an external. That's the best option, the external, because this is a soft copy. So I would use an external hard drive. All right. Let's move on to 19. Oh, we go. What should a clerk do if the number of items being delivered is less than is less than that shown on the delivery No, A, reprimand the delivery agent and refuse to accept the delivery. Might miss that. Return the goods and ask for urgent delivery of the correct order from Sandy. So I'm exactly the 18. Then I know if I go inside you, all right? So you have to say, right, that short goods. So you'll acknowledge it and then the sign, all right? 
Number 20, a large office space with many employees working in the same area is referred to as cellular enclosed extended open plan. And that would be D open plan. Let's move on to number 21. The term cross-referencing refers to the document that file R is A as in space, D as miscellaneous, B under the same heading, E under different headings. And that would be D here under different headings. Let's move on to 22. Which of the following systems would a receptionist use to record information about a visitor to a firm? Is it A, call card, B, personal diary, Chocolate. C, receptionist register. Go no further, guys. The other register is supposed to do that. One thing I like, one good thing I like, let me see. I will make me see the receptionist for doctor. You're always fabulous. All right, so let's move on to 23. It says credit cards are used instead of cash when traveling abroad because they A, have a greater value than cash. Of a greater security than cash. That could be hit. Let's see. Are preferred to cash in foreign country? You know. Give the traveler high status. So it's B. Of a greater security than cash. Not be a criminal in our world. No one never be right. So the world soon got cashless. The world is already senseless. It's soon got cashless also. Let's move on to 24. Files which are no longer in use and placed in storage are referred to as. Is it stored in index archive or reserve? It is archive, you know? Archive, which you rock. All right, so that is indeed archive. All right, so let's move on to 25. You are, you are a receptionist and your employer has asked you to cancel his appointment to that important client. All clients are important. All right, guys, when you guys become receptionists, try and know that every client um, is important. All right, so that is clear up, so let's go. What is the most suitable action to take? A, cancel the old appointment date and time in the employee's diary. Oh, you have to notify the client. B, contact the client, apologize, and inform her, him or her, that the appointment has been canceled. That could be, you know. C, arrange a new appointment and inform the client of the change. You know, you can do that. Write a letter to the client advising him or her of the cancellation. I then you write a letter. Don't be a stress that one. Your contact, the client, apologize, say, I'm sorry, sir, the boss said, blah, blah, blah. And then you say, inform them of that. And then you say, well, can we make a different arrangement, a different day, a suitable for you? You can't just make one date and say, yo, a Thursday, no. You don't know what plans them on Thursday. So you have to apologize and contact them directly. All right, so when you guys become receptionists, remember Mr. Benny told you that. Number 26, at the annual general meeting of Corona Enterprises, an equal number of votes were cast for and against a motion. What action should the chairperson take to break the tie? At the annual general meeting, I try to understand it, guys. All right, at the annual general meeting of Corona Enterprises, oh, them both, but the number equal. What action should the chairperson take to break the tie? So everybody vote. So a 10 person then. On the even, five, five. What do you do then to, to break the vote? A, exercise the costing vote. And that would be A. All right? You can't ask them to vote again because I see them. Oh, yeah, we are trying to change the vote. No, they're not going to do that. Well, what do have voted already? All right, 27. In a meeting, the role of a proxy is to A, present the agenda, B, put forward motion, C, act on the of an absent member, or D, collect votes from all in attendance. And that is act on the of of the absent members. All right, so let's move on to 28. Which of the following terms is used to describe a committee which has been set up to deal with a specific matter? Is it central, ad hoc, general, or administrative? And that is ad hoc. I wonder if I say pronounce it right here. Within the meeting, within a meeting, the context of proposal that action is taken is known as a motion, B, an agenda, C, a casting vote, or D, an amendment. That is a motion. 
show me your motion. Thirteen. Thank you for this question and guide members. Ensure all members are given an opportunity to speak. And that is all free. Pick up every chair first. All right. You can sit up in a parliament, right? Oh, guys, you have reached halfway stage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Very good, very good. Come on, we're halfway there. Come on, guys, let's go. 31. Which of the following can be used as a reminder, as a reminder system in organization? A, appointment books. B, tinker files. Three, diaries. And I will be say all three. All right, so let's move on to 32. Going on fine, going on fine. Your employer wishes to hold a meeting in the staff room at on 18th of June at 8 a.m. Which of the following document, documents should be prepared and distributed prior to the meeting? Is it the motion, recommendation, notice, and agenda? Apologies for absence. So 32 is definitely C, the notice and agenda. Get that as staff room, right? Always get that. And then you see the meeting's gonna be long, long, long. All right, so we move on to 33. The time displayed on the clock above is, so it's saying 1500, 1500 hours, and that would be 3 p.m. Remember, this is a 24 hour clock, right? All right, let's move on to 2034. Rather. A clerk was asked to make 30 copies of a document. The minimum quantity of paper she should request to complete the task is two rings, two queries, three queries, or three rings. All right, so 3034 would be A, and this is 1000. Remember, one ring is 500, so that would give you a thousand. I'm using 900 out of 8, all right? So let's move on to 35. What is the correct order in which the following heading should appear in the minute of a meeting? One, meeting of the last, minutes of the last minute. Two, apologies of absence. Three, matters arising from the minutes. So, apologies. So the first one, so let us put one else. This can be a little bit cheap. So apologies for the absence. I'm gonna read the minutes. And then this will be true. So which one is two, one, three, that is C. All right, so let me just read that again. What is the correct order with the following heading should appear in the minutes of a meeting? One, apologies for the absence. Two, minutes of the last meeting. And then three, matters arising from the meeting, all right? So let's move on to 36. Which of the, one of the most important functions of the human resource department is to A, introducing new employees, B, receiving visitors to the firm, C, ensuring proper communication, D, attending the welfare of the employees. All right, so basically, not just one new employees, it's the welfare of the entire employees, right? So 37, in which of the following situation is a cross-referencing Cross referencing not needed. A, the name of supplier is changed. B, a female customer has a name changed to marriage. C, a piece of correspondence related to main page relates to more than one name. D, a document is to be placed under special, special name for easy retrieval. And that would be. Number 38, an executive is on a business trip in another Caribbean territory and urgently requires additional money. The best way to send money to his him or her is well, it's electronic money transfer, D, international bank draft, C, credit transfer, or D, debit transfer. Another country. I would say electronic money transfer. All right. But um, or if I can put the, the, the debit directly, because that can you know people from overseas do that, pay me directly in my account, I'm getting the same time. I'm Canada, USA, India, so I don't know. 
or what electronic would would probably um I electronic that's the same yeah yeah all right so it's definitely a I was saying debit transfer, but then the debit transfer would be electronic. You know what I'm saying? Stupid me. All right, so let's look at 39. The term impress refers to A, a special sum in the bank, B, money sent aside for petty cash purposes, C, a fixed amount of money budgeted by a cabinet, or D, a fixed amount of money used for bulk purchases. And that is B, money set aside for petty cash purposes. Petty, petty, petty cash. All right, let's move on to party, guys. We are reached two thirds of the paper. Give it a thumbs up. You guys are awesome. The science of fitting the workplace to meet the needs of employees is known as ergonomics. And that is A. I'm not going to go any further. Party one. Which of the following would have a major effect on labor turnover? A. Appraisal report. B. Staff development. C. Working conditions. Definitely working condition here. Yeah. Or D, terms of employment. Trust me, the condition no good. Then gone, gone, gone. All right, party two refers to the following diagram document. So you have the receptionist job summary, responsible for assistant, visit of the firm, work on other office related duties. Receive working to good receive and screening visitors, maintaining the receptionist register and operating a switchboard. Minimum qualification, five, six. Hold on, so I'm too much. How can I disrespect some of this? Including English A, right? Acknowledgement, skill, basic complete application, operation of the switchboard. Let's see what they really want. I can give you all this information. The document above is best described as a described as a job. Definitely an advertising. Who want the job? So many pages, but you have to have five, six, six subjects, the responsibilities, and so on, and the knowledge and skill. So forty-two is definitely for me. Job advertisement. All right, forty-three. Which of which of the following best describe the purpose of the petty cash fund? A to reduce current required work. To B to store cash efficiently. C for prevention of theft by employees. D for making small payments on the day. I'm gonna go with D. I remember when I used to work on the petty cash. And the thing is, if you don't want to record it, then you get back the petty cash at the end of the month, whatever you spend, or whatever you receipt you can produce. If you can produce your receipt, you can get back the petty cash. All right, all right, so boss, I draw that out of your pay. You get 10 grand, you must be accountable for it at the end of the month. All right, let's move on to 44. In a cash book, all monies received are indicated as is it deposit, deduction, credit, or debit entry. And that would be debit entry. All right, guys, we are coming, we are coming to the end. Make sure that you guys like the video. If you are not subscribed, do so now. What is the term? Hold on, hold on. All right, so I'm going to People are still in a video here. All right, so this is our explain challenge. In the meantime, you guys type in 45 and 42. And so forth. All right. I want to wrap up this and subscribe. I'm going to see if I can do another one. All right. So, all right. What is the term given? What is the term given to describe a check date with a head of time? Is it cross certified post date? We did this in POV also, so post date check. What is the first step that a businessman should take if, he, if his cash book had a bank statement to show a difference of $20? A, reconcile his bank statement with his cash. Definitely that is the first thing. Check if any error, error for mission or anything, all right? Um, let's move on to 47. Item 47 refers to the following document. So now number, we have the invoice number in favor of ER1. So I use all the sum of money that is yours. Sign if you want to pay my date, September. All right. So let's see the significance of all of this. If I document good, we're going to go down to the question. The person, Mr. Bruce, uh, whom the check is made of is called the okay, the pay. The pay. He is the pay. He, 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 he. So Bruce, uh, 
I'm going to get paid right now. 48, the human resource clerk has been asked to review a list of job applications and to select those who meet the necessary requirement for a job. This process is referred to as discipline information, shortlisting, downsizing, or team interview. And that is shortlisting. Okay, apply for job if you want to get shortlisted, makes no sense. And the dash for your application. All right, 49 at the beginning of the year, a firm employs 50 persons. During the year, 10 of these persons leave the firm. Which of the following present labor turnover? All right, so that's 10. Let me small things. Let's see, small. I'll put the 10 in or something. Put the 10 in a word. Small place. Right, then I know some math is right? So I'm going to see this eight divided by one divided by one divided by one. So that is 20%. So that's C. Let's see. Let's, see. let's move on to 50. The use of a perpetual inventory system in a large department stores enable A. Goods that. All right, let's move up to 50. The use of perpetual inventory system in a large department store enables A, goods that were purchased first to be sold first, B, goods that were purchased last to be sold first, C, the sales of goods on a person to person basis, or D, calculation of the stock levels and the values of specific intervals. And that is it. All right, let's move on to 51. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. 50, item 51 refers to the following information on the movement of stock. So January 1, it's we have 15 stock at $35. February, we have 15 at $30. So it should be first in, first out method. So FIFA means first in, first out. All right, what is the cost of the closing stock of the end of May using the fee for method? So originally, we are 15 plus 15. That's a third. So originally, we have 30. So the issue 20. So this I've got done. Because then you're coming first, right? So five of a left. Five of a left was this. No, 10 are going to leave. Yeah. So 10 are going to leave. No, oh, something like right. that. Yeah, yeah, right. Because guess what? This a 13, you know, so your issue. So 15 are come out first. So 15, when 15 left, there will be five of this, five of the first one at 35, and then which are right, you know. So the balance will be five at 35. You know what this have got done? So only this have got left, and now 10 out of this have got left. So it's going to be 30 times 10. So it's going to be 30. 20 come out of it. I wish 20. That means 10 left. Because a first in, first out, easier to sell first. So this would leave. So that's an A. Well, I'm telling you, man. Yo, you're a big mathematician. I explain it in so cool, cool. I'm paper that man. So that is the first in, first out. It means the first one comes in, the first one going to sell. All right? And then you have the last. Right? Of the next one. All right. So let's move on to 52 to 53. Refers to the following purchase order. Let's go to it. Oh God. Maths again. All right. So let us. I think I'm gonna use my calculator just for the essence of time. So I'm gonna see this and also some calculation. What is the total cost of the item before the discount? All right. So let's work out that. So first, we have these are the quantity. And these are the unit price. So unit price means this have the one. How much them buy? Two. All right. So two times this, six. So this one. This time. I'm just use calculator just for time. We have six boxes at seventeen fifty. I'm just multiplying that guys. Right? So I'm going to calculator just for time. You know what? If it is too long. So seventeen fifty times six. That's one over. 
one box at 12 dollars so yeah 12 dollars and then two packs are ending up at one so that's a three dollar all right so let me just add this so that's our 167 165 plus 15. So it's 165 plus, plus 18. All right. So this will give us 18. And that is our answer. Let's see, 18. Oh, see here. So 52 is it. All right. So before the discount, and then we have a discount of 10%. So they didn't ask about that. So let's go down. What will be the total cost to be paid by the customer after the discount? So yeah, so we know that the discount is 10%. So what we have to do, find 10% of one eight. 10% is the same as the by eight. But I'm gonna work with it because I know how students be sometimes. So All right, so that's 18 dollars. So the discount is 18. So what I have to do, subtract with seven. So I'm not sure every step is left two. One times seven plus six. So that's one sixty-two dollars paid by the Bennett. So that's one sixty-two. Let's see if that's in the option. Yes, yeah, so that is D. Right. So let's move on to 54. Which of the following means of communication is the most efficient way of receiving timely feedback from 100 members of staff about new rules regarding the use of telephones? Is it A staff meeting? Individual letters. See, yes, I checked the way the random sent to the bar. So I can see the phone. Refers to the following. I should be happy. Yeah. I say you have the customer, Zena, 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 upper street job, work cushion, time required to complete the job, two days, material needed, fabric of 600 sponge, 250 thread, labor required, stitcher, $200. Total cost of labor twenty dollar at twenty twenty percent for overhead. Total cost of the job as per year. It's the same a lot. Let me just wait question answer first. The document above is an example of is it a job card, time card, record card, or job cost card? And that is a job card, right? What is what is what is the twenty percent overhead charge? So we have to go work on some stuff before, right? Because it's a twenty percent for overhead. But before we can do that, we don't need to add up this. All right, so not to do that. So that is six all right so in all everything is 1110 that's the total and we are supposed to find 20 percent that is 20 percent that is the same thing as divided by five all right let's keep it on here i like it Two times something like right. something like right. I'm going to add something like right. that. See you. Six something. Yeah. Should I get something like right? that? All right, guys, I'm just adding this to the calculator. Just read the distance of time. No one will. Somehow this connecting now at so 600 plus 250 plus the 60 plus yeah. 1,000. Yeah, so divide by 5 now. 222. Two, two. All right, so the answer is C. All right, the total cost of the job is, oh, may I tell you the work of this already? To go back up to you, just to see. Because remember, the total job, we have to add the 200. I did something wrong. I only, when I add right here, so. 
Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin çamağı. Kapitalistin This has to be the answer. Yeah, add this to chart. So this to chart to get the PFT number 58. An unsolicited letter of application may be written when A, a company advertised for a vacancy. B, a company, a company's application form is made available. C, an application is sent for inquiring about a vacancy. Or D, an application is sent in response to an advertisement. And that the a company application form is in the All right, let's wrap up this, guys. Wrap up this. I like every video, man. I can do the next one. You know, I like expanding this. It makes sense. We do the money. Fifty-nine. Which of which document in used in shipping is both a contract for carriage and a document of title, and that will be the bill of the lady. Uh, still going to stress. this bill from start of the first time. All right, 60, I turn for the following clock card, which shows the time of arrival and departure of an employee. No, the clock card will make no provision for lunch hour from Monday to Friday. Okay, so there's no one hour break. That's how we get from. When you work it, that will be the first. All right, from 7.30, so 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1 30, 2.30. So now I get nine hours. Yes. So if this is a nine, that means that this is a good level. So I'll just add two more hours. Sure. So I'm not stressed on Jesus on mercy. Fine. So I'm going to say at 8.30 we start. I have a subtract on 8.30. So from 8 o'clock, that would be from 8.30. So that would be 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30. So this will be 10, so this will be nine and a half. See the other half for this. So this is nine times nine. This have some half pieces, so it's a 430, we get nine times nine. 730, 430, nine again. From eight to one. All right, so eight to nine, so nine, 10, 11, 12, one. So that's a five and a half. This is a, so this make one, right? So I'll add it. Guys, why would he say do this to you for the last one? It's stress, man. Right, so, 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 nine, yes. Nine trees are a council. So, we never have. Oh, the bind five. So, I'm getting 53. Oh, 0.5. No, one of them in the right. Let me see some 9, 11, that's 20. Something like right. Let me see if, if I was. One of them was in the right, guys. But me know say the answer to this because I get 53. So, let me up one of them here. Let me see. This, correct. One day for this. All right, so eight, nine, ten. Now this you know, guys. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. This should have been ten and a half. So in the end, we get fifty-four. All right, half hours. All right, so that will be C. Guys, please ensure that you subscribe so you can get any come out. No doubt. See you guys in another video. All right. So it's a long video. Very long video.